Hi everyone, thanks for joining Ausgrid for Electricity Safety Week. My name is Jess Huey and we're looking forward to sharing with you some really important electricity safety tips to keep you safe at home and out in the community. Let me tell you a little bit about Ausgrid. We look after the electricity network in Sydney, the Central Coast and the Hunter Valley. In our network, we have overhead and underground power lines, substations, pillar boxes, kiosk substations. You might have seen some of these things when you're out in the street going for a walk or maybe in your local park. In fact, we look after more than 50,000 kilometres of overhead and underground power lines. That's the same as if you drove around Australia more than three times. You might have seen some of my workmates up in cherry pickers fixing the power lines or the street lights or maybe you've seen them in your street after a big storm bringing electricity supply back to you. We have a really, really important job to do and that is to bring electricity to you so that you can use it for work and for play, for cooking and for heating. And while electricity is great and it can help us to do many things, it's really important that we understand that it can be very dangerous when you're exposed to it in ways that you're not supposed to be. And there are many really smart things that we can do to stay safe around electricity. Let me introduce you to some of my workmates and they're going to tell you a little bit about what they do to stay safe around electricity. Let's meet Jonathan. Hi, my name is Jonathan. One of the jobs that I do is fix power lines when they are damaged or need maintenance. We have a special truck that lifts me up safely so I can work on the power lines. You might also know these as cherry pickers. Some of the power lines in the street have even higher electrical voltage than what we get at home. This is so that we can transport the electricity long distances from substations to your house. Here is a photo of me at work. You can see that I have to wear very special equipment. I have a safety hard hat. I have rubber gloves. Safety glasses. A harness. High vis hose. And boots. That's a lot of different clothing to wear. I've been working at Osgrid for 25 years now and I'm a qualified electrician. So you can see I have many years of knowledge and experience on how to safely work around electricity. Now let's take a look at some photos that show some real life examples of dangerous situations we've seen around power lines. Power lines aren't just near houses, they can be on rural properties as well. We can see here a man unloading some metal pipes from his trailer. He's concentrating on moving the pipes off the trailer. While the power lines are in the next block of land, the pipes here are carrying are quite tall, so they could easily make contact with the power lines that are above him. It's really important to look up first. Let's take a look at another photo. Here we can see a person is using machinery to clear land for a building project. Can you see what might be dangerous in this photo? Yes, that's right. His excavator is too close to the power line above him. If he hits the power lines, he could receive a really bad electric shock that could kill him. This would also affect power supply to surrounding areas including homes and shops. Whether you're carrying tall objects or using tall equipment, we always need to look up and make sure what we're doing is safe whenever we're near power lines. This photo here shows someone cutting down trees. They clearly haven't paid attention to the surrounding power lines. This has caused some of the branches to fall on the power lines where they are now stuck. If the person tries to get the tree branches down, they could receive a serious electric shock. The fallen tree branches could also damage the power line and start a fire. If you see something like this, make sure you call us because we have the proper training and equipment to safely remove the tree branches. Okay, here's the last one. This might look like a fun cubby house, but can you see what the danger is here? Yes, that's right. The cubby house was built next to a power pole, so it's not safe to play in. There's a big risk the power lines could cause an electric shock. Sometimes even adults don't always realise the risk, so it's important that if you see something dangerous, you speak up to keep you and your friends safe. So as you can see, it is better to stay away from power lines and electricity equipment, because it's very dangerous and only experts like me should go near them. My top tip for you all, if you see a fallen power line, stay at least 8 metres away from it and anything else it may be touching. That's the equivalent of a big bus. Then tell an adult straight away and call triple zero. Now let me introduce you to my colleague Aaron. Hi, 
My name is Aaron and I work in the health and safety team at Osgrid. My job is to help keep the public safe around electricity. I talk to construction workers, farmers, truck drivers and many others in our community. But unfortunately, I see far too many dangerous electrical situations in my job. And many of these things can be avoided by following some simple rules. When electricity is nearby, whether it be overhead conductors or underground cables, we must always think safety first. I wanted to tell you a bit of a story and what we should do to keep safe and avoid dangerous situations like this. You can see in this example that the fall and power lines have been caused by a car accident. You can see lots of sparks and this is very dangerous. If you are in the white ute, you should safely reverse and clear the scene while emergency services and Osgrid make it safe. We should never keep driving over fallen power lines. The man on the phone is standing a safe distance away, but should not come any closer. My top tip for you all is to look up and live and know what's below. Look up for power lines before flying a kite or climbing a tree. And for adults, check there are no underground cables before digging in the backyard. You can do this by calling dial before you dig on double one double zero. Now you can meet my other friends from Osgrid. My name's Alice and I work as an electrical engineer for Osgrid. You now know how to keep yourself safe from some electrical hazards. My tip today is to remind you that we also need to keep our fluffy friends safe. If your pet doesn't know about electrical safety and what they can and can't nibble on. So it's our job to keep them safe. Hi everyone, it's Jess again. I want to tell you a little bit about my job at Osgrid. I'm an electrical engineer and I get to look after the new technologies that we bring onto our network and also our climate change strategy to make sure that we're building a more sustainable electricity grid that uses more and more renewable energy. You might have solar panels on your roof or maybe you've seen other people have solar panels on their roof. And part of my job is to make sure that everybody who wants to use renewable energy can. And we need new technologies to help us do that. One of the exciting projects that I've been involved with is to build our first community battery. Community batteries store solar electricity that isn't being used during the day from around the community for people to use later on at night when the sun isn't shining or for people who don't have solar panels on their roof to be able to use renewable energy as well. The future is really exciting and we can use these new technologies to bring more renewable energy into our electricity network. And it's really important that we stay safe around these technologies like solar panels and community batteries so that we can keep bringing new technology into our network for the future. I hope that you've enjoyed hearing from all of my workmates about how they can stay safe around the electricity network. It's really important to remember that we have lots of experts here to help us work on the electricity network safely. We're here to help and we've got special equipment to help keep us safe. Remember, if you see us out and about working on the electricity network, you can say hi to us from a safe distance, but make sure that you leave it to us to work on the electricity network because we can do it safely. Thanks so much for joining us for Electricity Safety Week. We look forward to sharing more electricity safety tips with you about how to stay safe around electricity. Mm -hmm.